Hey guys, this is Captain Joel Dickey. I'm down here in Big Pine Key, Florida. I'm here with Kent Lewis from Gink and Gasoline, and we're going to give you some more tips on uh, casting in salt water. Uh, tonight we're actually going to talk about uh, presenting your fly to a school of migrating tarpon. And if you look to my right, we've got uh, four pool noodles out to uh, the makeshift school of tarpon. And if you'll notice, the we got one pool noodle that's out a little bit further than the others, and that pool noodle is going to represent the lead tarpon, and generally that tarpon's female, um, and she determines what the school does, uh, no matter if there's only three behind her or a hundred behind her. If she turns right, the school turns right. If she turns left, the school turns left. Now, when you make, what I generally try to teach my clients is to not cast to that fish for that reason because if she refuses to fly or spooks she's going to turn the rest of the school generally away from the boat in of which is going to negate any second third fourth shot that you have at the rest of the school of the fish okay so <clears throat> i'm going to make a cast and what i generally want to see when we do this is about three or four feet of the fly leader across her back okay and generally what happens is that makes the fish behind her get competitive and hopefully ends up being an eat uh, just like that and strip slow and hopefully it results in an eat the reason i like to do that is the fish generally in behind the lead fish are males and they're very competitive and generally they're they're a little more susceptible to eating the fly and that's why you never throw to the lead fish in migrating tarpon guys i hope this helps in your next fly fishing adventure good luck